Hello Oracle Database Geeks, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deinstall, or uninstall, whatever you want to call it, the um, Oracle Database software from your system. Okay, so, in this environment, we have a Microsoft Windows version 7 operating system running on a Lenovo laptop, and we have Oracle Database 11.2. Um, currently installed, version 11.2 currently installed of the Oracle database software. And we have one Oracle database configured on, uh, created and running on this system. And that database is Finance, F-I-N-A-N-C-E. Um, the Oracle database software is installed in um, a location called the Oracle Home. And on this particular system, that location is C colon slash app slash Oracle slash product slash 11.2.0 slash db home underscore one. So the Oracle home is C colon slash app slash Oracle slash products slash 11.2.0 slash db home underscore one. Your mileage may vary. Now, we do a DIR here. And we can see that this... Um, Oracle home, home directory is full of files, but mostly subdirectories that all make up the Oracle database software installation. Okay? And that's what all these directories are. And they're in this path right here, your Oracle home. Okay? So we have all the files, all the directories here, which make up your Oracle database home. Now, under your Oracle home, there is a directory called deinstall. Okay, so Oracle Home slash deinstall. And under deinstall, there is a bat script, which is a Windows batch file called deinstall.bat, okay, which calls this Perl script and which calls some other scripts, okay. Um, same, same scenario under Unix or, or Linux, but it's not, a, it's not a batch file, okay. So, to basically to uninstall the Oracle database software, uh, you basically run that script. That's all. That's really all you have to do, okay? And that script will shut down any database that's currently running. Um, it will delete the services in the Windows environment. It will delete the registry entries that have to do with Oracle. It will just totally wipe Oracle out and take it out of the take it off the system for you, okay? Now you can only run deinstall on one Oracle home at a time. It has to be that Oracle home's deinstall. Okay, so if you have multiple Oracle homes, if you have a multi-home Oracle database uh, system, you'd have to move to that particular Oracle home and run that deinstall script, and that deinstall operation will only apply for that Oracle home version. And that's usually the reason why people have multiple Oracle homes in one system, is for uh, they can run different versions of the database on one system. Okay, now, we don't want to run this script in the directory app Oracle product 1120 db underscore home deinstall. We don't want to do that because it won't deinstall everything because we're currently in that directory, okay? So we're going to run it by executing the full path. Now, let's look at our Oracle SID. Set our Oracle SID to finance, and let's connect to our finance database via the SQL Plus program. We do a show user to show we're connected as a SysDBA user, and we do a select name from V$ sign database. And we do a select open underscore mode from the dollar sign database. Open, read, write. So we see that we're that the that the finance database is up and running on this system. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's kick off this deinstall script with the database running. Now, this assumes that you already that either your you, that either your company said, hey. DBA, Oracle DBA, we don't need a data that's in the database. It's easily created, um, recreatable, or we don't care about it. So, you know, go ahead and um, blow away the database, or you took a backup of some sort, okay? Now, even though the script will shut down the database and do all that stuff, it's still recommended that you shut down the database manually, but we're going to let the script do it for presentation purposes. So, have in the full path. Make sure you're not in the path. Make sure you're not in the Oracle base or the Oracle home. And type in C colon slash the full path name of your Oracle home, which in this case is app slash Oracle slash product slash 11.2.0 slash 
slash DB home underscore one. So there's our so there's our Oracle home, and then our the subdirectory under our Oracle home, which is the install slash the install. And you don't have to put the dot bat in Windows. Okay, dot bat the DOS knows to um to execute it. Okay, so C colon slash app slash Oracle slash product slash eleven two zero slash db home underscore one slash deinstall to deinstall bat script. You run that not in the Oracle home directory, and that should remove the Oracle database software for you. It's going to prompt you for some questions. Okay, checking for required files and bootstrapping. Please wait. Okay, so go, we, we get some output here when we start our script, okay, Oracle deinstall, let's go up to make sure we have everything, yep, so Oracle deinstall and config tool start, check configuration start, install check, uh, checking for existence of Oracle home location, which it is, Oracle home type selected, um, um, single instance DB, Oracle base, um, and the inventory location, so it does, some configuration needs to do. We come over here, and it says specify the list of database names that are configured in this Oracle home. It already sees that there's a finance database, so we're going to verify it by hitting the enter key. So there's defaults to these questions. Okay. Now, it's going to say, for database finance, single instance database, the diagnostic information is located here. Storage type is file system. Database file location is this. Now. Sometimes you, it need, you, need to, you need to tell it the question. Sometimes you need to um, answer these questions. Okay, it really depends on how your system is configured, if Oracle can figure it out. Okay, and uh, typically when a database is still up, it can figure out the questions, or the answers to the questions. Okay, but when a database is down, most of the time you'll have to answer these questions. So it says the details of database finance have been discovered automatically. Do you still want to modify the details? No, because all this is correct. It's a single instance database, meaning it's not rack. It's not part of a cluster, database cluster. The diagnostic information, um, that's where the alert log and everything is. So that, that's correct. Um, it is a file system database. So the it's not an ASM or anything. Um, the database file location, database or data finance, yes, that is correct. Uh, flash recovery does not exist. Uh, I'm not using that. Database has P file location. And that is correct. So we hit no there. And we let it do its thing. And it does one last check and we're ready to go. And this is just more verifying. Just the, it just, the deinstall script needs to learn about the database. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. And um, if you want to, you can play the video again and pause at certain sections such as these and read through the output if you want. But, uh, you know, it's basically just doing what it has to do to remove the, the, Oracle, the database files, the Oracle home, um, the Oracle base, the services on, on a Windows box, and, uh, and registry entries on a Windows box. So we'll pause this uh, video until this process ends. Okay, um, starting to move forward. Some more outputs flying by. There it is, removing the service. So it's doing what it has to do, as you can see. Now, mind you, this is the deinstall process, which is located in the installation and configuration guide that you can get from the Oracle website, okay, in the database 11.2 um, library, documentation library, under the support section of the oracle.com website. Um, but uh, this 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 procedure I'm doing here is for a simple single instance database. Okay, there's no ASM, there's no rack. Okay, so it's it's there's no data guard. So you know it's it's just a, a simple it's just your your basic RDBMS. Okay, if you have a more advanced configuration like any environments I just mentioned, um, definitely take a look at the manual. Open a service uh, request with. Um, on MetaLink or my Oracle support, whatever you want to call it, and uh, you know, talk to them first. Okay, the install and dev config tool ended. 
Now, when we CD the app and DIR, nothing's there because the Oracle database has been removed. Okay, the software. Now, one last thing here. If the install tool is located on the install media, it's located in the Oracle Home, as you just saw, but you can also grab it from the net if you just want the install, the uh, deinstall utility. And you do that by going to oracle.com. Like most, like most software for Oracle, and you click on, and I'm only seeing half the website here because of the, my uh, camera size here, but that's okay. You go to Downloads, and you click Database um, 11G, okay? Click Accept, okay, come up here, and what you do is, I'm going to have to maneuver a little bit here. Excuse me. There it is. You pick the platform that your database is running. In this case, it's Microsoft Windows 32-bit, and you click See All. And here's all the software available, database software as it pertains to Oracle Database, including the Oracle Database software itself, available for uh, Windows. Um, available for Windows 32-bit, uh, as you saw. And if we scroll down at the bottom, there it is. Oracle Deinstall Utility 11.2 for Microsoft Windows 32-bit. And you can just grab that Deinstall Utility. Okay. All right, that's how you um, install or uninstall, whatever you want to call it, the Oracle Database Software from your system. Thank you.